start, I think, macroing a little bit more off of more than off of four factories. Hopefully, he's putting up a couple more factories now that he's getting that third base set up. Um, neither player really attacking at all yet, and that's kind of interesting. Um, wow, that that is a nice door. Very nice door. Supply Depot in the front there, a couple mines in front. Um, looks like Bisu's getting ready to crack it, though. I don't think he's going to be able to. There's a lot of tanks on that ridge, and um, it's going to be very difficult. The only thing is he doesn't have a lot of vultures there. Uh, he only has those Goliaths, so uh, it's going to be difficult to tell. Uh, Templar Archives and Stargate going down, so that means his Bisu is probably going for Arbors. I'm, I'm almost certain of it, uh, because he's committed a lot to this ground attack. I mean, he's gotten a lot of gateways. And so there's the Goliath, there's the Goliath taking out, oh, taking out a shuttle before it's able to do anything, taking out an observer as well. Zealot Bomb still goes off though, as he goes into the side while he's dealing with the Zealot Bomb on the, on the top. Brilliant move by Bisu, distracting him on the north, and then Flash having to bring out a bunch of SCVs. There's not that many Zealots left though, so he is going to get driven back. If there had been six or seven more Zealots in that attack, I think that Bisu might have been able to, to, to break that. And oh, oh, the shuttle going down as well, so Bisu losing two shuttles there. And, um, wow, excellent by Flash. I, I really thought he was going to go down there for a minute, but I guess Bisu just did not have enough Zealots there. And, <laughs> wow, <laughs> that Dragoon's like, I just, I've had enough. I need to end it all. Where's, oh, there's a mine. Sweet, come to me, sweet mine. And then, okay, never mind. Um, wow. So, uh, excellent by Flash here. Flash now moving out of his main base as well. Uh, and Flash really, really fortunate to have that very small choke point there outside of his, his, his uh, third base uh, to hold off those zealots. I think if that had been a larger gap, then it would have been a lot more difficult for him to do anything about it. But just still going very, very, very tank heavy here. And um, it would be interesting to see if, if BC responds by uh, changing his tactics, maybe getting some more zealots uh, to run in or something like that. He needs to continue with those good zealot bombs. Uh, but again, like I was saying before, Terrans just do not get Goliaths nearly often enough, and just a few Goliaths can help out so easily because those Goliaths, which are not present with his army, but some turrets are, but uh, the point is, 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 is a couple Goliaths with your troops can present, prevent, completely prevent Zealot Bombs, uh, or at least, um, you know, keep, keep the Protoss from just running all... I hate... It's, it's so... It's almost painful to watch uh, Protoss players, like, run a shuttle around on top of Terran troops and just just without any uh, thing to stop them at all whatsoever and uh, the Protoss just sit there running around waiting waiting for the Terran to siege up and then to just go ahead and drop a zealot and there's nothing stopping him at all um, but uh, yeah so so um, just a couple Goliaths is able to stop that kind of thing um, and I guess you know you do need the gas for, for Goliaths and it's easier to use it for tanks but I don't know I think it's worth the investment uh, personally and uh, feel free to disagree with me I guess but here we see uh, Flash's macro really kicking in here. He's got a lot of troops here, a big, big, big army. And now he has indeed switched over. He's getting more vultures, and he's just got a couple Goliaths with his army to prevent those Zealot Bombs. Now the one thing that I do see Terrans do when they do get Goliaths is often they'll send them in in the front, and they'll use it to block. And what they really need to do, in my opinion, is keep them back so that they can block those Zealot Bombs. Because if you send in your Goliaths first, and the Goliaths get picked off by splash damage from your tanks while they're attacking Zealots, then... Um, they're not doing you any good you, if, you're, if your Goliaths die first. Huge attack coming in here. He does have a lot of Zealots here. ton of Zealots popping in the front here, but it's the second wave is going to get through. He does not have enough Vultures to stop this, uh, and those Zealots are going to get through. And it looks like oh, Flash's army just getting picked apart by his own splash damage here, and uh, he almost should have unseized in that case because he had all tanks and uh, a ton of Zealots bearing down on top of him there, and some, some Vultures coming in to help out, but just not, not quite uh, quick enough there. And Flash's army just getting absolutely obliterated, absolutely slaughtered there. The Arbiter coming in as well, Flash having comps that. Well, I didn't even see that though. Bisu's army also obliterated. I didn't even, I thought he, I thought um, that off screen, Bisu had more Dragoons there, but he had gone more Zealot heavy, so those Dragoons did not exist that I thought were there. So Bisu's army also dead, so Flash, Barely, barely holding back uh, Bisu, but able to do it instead. And Flash macroing a little bit better here. here. He's He's got a, a more of an army coming out um, to reinforce than, than Bisu does at the moment. As you can see, there are several, several vultures coming out uh, and a few tanks already. And uh, Bisu does have the Arbiter, though, and I'm sure he's upgrading it right now. Oh, vultures. Oh, those vultures chasing down those probes. Oh, man. 
those probes running for their for their lives and just uh, they, they thought they were in the clear when they passed through near that battle and they're like ha 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 those vultures are distracted we can get to our home and then they they vultures were like screw that we're gonna chase you down mother, mother effers um, so yeah uh, basically if Bisu gets a couple more arbiters out though I'm, I'm, I'm I think that flash might be in trouble oh <laughs> wow Oh, Hero Zealot taking out that, using that mine to take out several vultures there, and Flash's tanks pretty much undefended now. He's got them staggered at least, so that they're not all bunched up, so that they can they can only one will die with the shelling at least. Finally, some vultures coming in just in time, picking off that that one, um, picking off that one zealot there, uh, picking off another zealot. Flash, oh, barely, barely again. Both players, but barely, basically killing almost all of each other's. Um, Troops, this is absolutely insane. This is basically just a macro battle right now. Absolute macro versus macro. Whoever can pump out the most troops fast enough to overcome the other will win because they've both got small armies at the moment. Neither player able to establish a decisive victory over the other. Um, Flash's Goliath's nowhere to be seen, though. And so e these Arbiters, uh, using their least deadly thing... Oh, there's the Goliath! There's the Goliath! All the Arbiters being able to get out in time, though, um, without dying, And uh, but still... The Arbiter's not... Any second now, things are going to turn around here. Things look kind of bad for Bisu, but he's going to stace his field right pretty soon, I think, and that's going to change the tide of things if he can get out enough troops on the ground to really support that stasis field. But Flash is still macroing a lot better than him and just, just absolutely pushing in little by little by little. And now Flash inside of, of, of Bisu's um, uh, natural base here and uh, things looking a little bit bad for Bisu. He is doing all right, I think, though. He's had to stop production at this base, but he's still got three bases running right now. Um, Flash also having three bases, so it's, it's feasible, though, since they are even on bases, that he could do... do he could... Um, Bisu could come back here. It looks like Flash might be pulling out here, might be deciding to set up a containment um, of some sort. He's not going to try and push up that ramp. That would be uh, a big mistake, I think, for... No oh! <laughs> Those Goliaths trying to kill the Arbiter... And the, the, the Arbiter saved his own um, hide barely in time with the stasis field. So um, Flash is going to have to wait for get some more um, some more Goliaths in there. Wow, Bisu has a lot of Arbiters out now. Four Arbiters out. There we go. Stasising all four of those tanks. So that was the major, major uh, portion of Flash's army. Those four tanks were going to hold off a lot of stuff with those Vultures in front. And without those tanks, those Vultures relatively... Um, uh, useless against that l a little bit larger army of Dragoons and Zealots. And, um, well, I mean, it wasn't actually larger, but uh, it was more powerful, I guess, because the Dragoons uh, more powerful than, than Vultures there. Flash, it looks like, actually, huh, so Fla their, their main bases look like they might be mined out right now, because we just saw Flash, I, I thought I saw him, that was the back of his main base, where he was, um, looked like he was mined out and sending... Uh, SCVs to another spot there. So BC might only be at two bases taking in taking in uh, money right now. And he's again having to run out. Oh, man. Yeah, definitely two bases now. Oh, those Goliaths trying to pick off that Arbor. Not quite able to pick it off. It's got one more hit left on it, though. And the Arbor actually has a kill on it, um, which is kind of cool. Arbiter going in there and, and uh, using its... Uh, I don't even know what the Arbiters have for their attack thing. And some DTs coming out here, but I don't think that's going to bother Flash too much. He's having to comp that anyways for all the Arbiters and stuff, and things looking very, very, very bad for Bisu. And like I was saying earlier, just the macro of Flash, Flash's macro, just absolutely insane. And like I said, the, there's the stasis fields, saving Bisu's uh, 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 army barely in time there, and uh, Bisu just macroing for bare life, basically. Uh, and uh, now Bisu has found that top left corner base, so this could be bad for Flash. All of his forces are, ha well, dead for the most part, or stasis fields. Uh, so this he's not going to be able to protect that very easily. He's sending a few Goliaths over there. Um, those three Goliaths are... I think they might actually be able to hold this off pretty well. Um, yeah, they're going to be able to at least hold off those those Dragoons until he can send a few Vultures over or something like that. Finally, High Templar out for Bisu. Finally! Jesus! Um, and this is something that I was... I remember in his matches versus Mind, I don't think he got a single High Templar... Or maybe it was versus Zelos, or I don't remember. There was some there was some match where he just didn't get any High Templar at all. Yeah, I think it was versus Mind. I don't think he got any High Templar. And it was like, why didn't you get High Templar? It's one of the most powerful units in the Protoss arsenal. And you can storm the hell out of your enemy when there's too many of them, which was the problem. And so finally he's getting... Oh, I didn't even realize Flash had that other base. Wow, Flash has a ton of bases right now. Um, Flash just totally out-macroing Bisu. 
Bisu still running. Bisu running at two bases right now, and those stasis fields the only thing keeping Bisu alive right now. Um, really, the I think the only thing Bisu can do at this point is he needs to somehow hold Flash off long enough to get up enough of an army on the ground to do some kind of a surgical, um, crazy surgical recall of some kind into Flash's base and take out all his factories real quick or something. Uh, that's all I can see that that Bisu might be able to do to get back into this. That's the only thing I can think of. Because Flash is macroing off of one, uh, two, three, four bases, and uh, Bisu has like one and a half because his island his island expansion is almost mined out too. And now, now I think this is the end. I think this is going to be the end because Flash is taking out these Arbiters pretty steadily. No more Arbiters left for Bisu, and even though those units are stasis, Flash just has too many units. Bisu just not able to accomplish enough with that quick tech build and just getting out macro there. So excellent play. I'm looking forward to game three. Hope you guys enjoyed that.